Guys, all right. Let's talk real quick. Hopefully you can see me here. How do you become successful and how do you make money? You work on Sundays. You have to work on Sundays, okay? When you're starting your companies, work on Sunday. I understand we're all right now locked down for the quarantine, um, but everybody should still be working, okay? Even on Sundays, especially the entrepreneurs. If, if you guys are serious about what you're doing and you wanna be successful, you need to be working on Sundays. Um, I keep my overhead extremely low, okay? As you see, this is a garage built out and it was built out by my contractors at almost nothing because I didn't wanna pay overhead of an office, okay? I outsource 99.9% .9 of everything I do. There is no reason anymore to have a brick and mortar office with a full staff and HR department and, and, and all the full nine yards when you can do everything from your devices and the luxury of your home, okay? So there should be no complaints about, well, you know, I can't afford a staff. There are many outsourcing companies out there you guys can use. Uh, there's, you know, if you take the time to put the work in, it's going to return. So you just have to, you know, it's you can do your Craigslist, you've got Upwork, you've got Elance, you're gonna, it's just like hiring position. You're gonna go through 20 of them before you find the right person. And you just have to do it. These are things you have to do. So keep your overhead extremely low, offer a very, very good product, okay? Micromanage everything you do. Don't grow too fast. Don't get too much overhead. There's certain things you're gonna to have to have, certain employees you're gonna to have to have. For instance, on the four plexes behind me, I superintended those. They're right across the street from the office of one of my properties here in Kiva. It was easy for me. As I grow, we're gonna to have to have more superintendents. So I understand those 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 things you, you're gonna you're gonna to have to eat that cost because you can't replace that cost. So but there's a way to keep your profit market, and I will tell you this from experience, a man who's built hundreds of homes, I've done major plays in the market, uh, and then I've done minimal plays in the market, and it seems to be every time that you're right around the uh, million to five million dollar market, you're good, you're good. And it doesn't matter if you're, it's 25 houses that get you to a million bucks or if it's one. None of that, it's irrelevant. As a new builder, as a distressed property broker, anything, that price point right there from 1 million to 5 million, perfect, okay? When you start getting to from five to 10, that's questionable. 10 and above, I wouldn't wanna mess with it. There's too many rules and regulations and you know, it seems like nobody owns property anymore, the banks own the property. So when you get to that area, and you don't want that. I like to deal with people that, that like to make money the old fashioned way, they like to work hard um, and, and they don't like to over leverage. I don't like for anybody else to be in a predicament where they could take something from us that we've worked so hard on and we have so much equity in. I'm not in the game of over leveraging. I'm not in the game of uh, refinancing every two to five years. I don't like any of that stuff. Um, I've kind of brought up a little more old school. You, you know, try to get your asset, at least pay it 50% down, um, you know, in the first four or five years and then eventually try to pay it completely off, but maybe you keep it at 50% because that's your sweet spot. But I'm not a guy that likes to over leverage and borrow 80 to 90% of the properties. I think that's ridiculous. I think what's happening right now in the marketplace with the, the coronavirus and, and everyone seizing up and the government shutting down uh, everyone right now is going to fill the, the repercussions of the lifestyles and the, uh, uh, the over, over leveraging and over financing and we're gonna all feel that rippling effect because of that. So the ones that were, uh, uh, you know, smart and they didn't get in over their head, those are the ones that are going to make it. So just my quick advice from me to you, that's what you need to know. Work on Sundays. Don't over leverage yourself. Keep your overhead extremely low, even if it's just you. And I prefer it to be just me a lot of the times. That doesn't mean I don't have ample things we outsource, marketing and you name it. But there's no need to have a full staff. And a lot of times you'll lose focus on what your ideas and your thoughts are when you're trying to brainstorm or come up with a plan or get a task done when you have an office and a staff of 10 or 15 people coming in the door. There's all kinds of issues. You got uh, you know, a lot of personal stuff involved and emotions and stuff like that. When you're solo and you outsource, 
And believe you me, I've tried it two or three different ways. When you solo and you outsource, it works the best, especially for small entrepreneurs, okay? Guys, you know, in, in, in the real estate sector, realtors, CPAs, things like that, you know, where we normally would have a staff from one to 10, you know, somewhere in there, you can do everything just yourself and it's very, very easy to do as long as you outsource the tasks that you need to be done, you know, to, to uh, different uh, people. And my people are not all in this country. They're all over the world and some of the hardest working people and stick to schedule and every one of them have a different talent. And, you know, so anyway, long story short, just trying to give you some advice there. Try not to over leverage and you can sometimes uh, pinpoint that that profit that you want to make or the profit margin that you want to make and you can make it much easier doing it uh, yourself and outsourcing things rather than trying to you know put the impression on that you're doing so well whenever you're not I would rather not look like I'm doing so well and be doing extremely well than to look like you're doing extremely well and not be doing so well so uh, anyway that's my advice Happy Sundays, guys.